Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Doug from Breakthrough Guitar. Did you just get a new guitar and you don't know where to start? You don't know what to practice? Well, I'm gonna go over a couple of things that you could start focusing on to get you started with your guitar journey. And this works with electric guitars and acoustic guitars, so don't worry about what kind of guitar you have. So first thing we're gonna talk about is the note names of the strings. Let's start with the first, that's a high E. And then the sixth, that's also an E. So they're both the same exact note. Then we have the second string, which is a B. We have the third string, which is a G. Fourth string, which is a D. And the fifth string, A. And we're back at the sixth string, the E. So we already have these down. So make sure you memorize the note names of these strings. It's very helpful when you're learning how to play guitar and you're talking to other people. You want to get the language down, just a little bit of it, so you can communicate with other people and eventually start jamming with them or just, you know, sharing musical ideas. Now the next thing we could do is play our first chord. So the first chord we're going to play is a G major. It's a very common chord. So many songs use it. So we're gonna start with our middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. And try to use the very tips of your fingers whenever you put your fingers on the fretboard. The very tip, so right underneath your fingernail. Then index finger goes to second fret on the A string. Then with your ring finger, you want to place this on the third fret of the B string and your little finger on the third fret of the high E string. So we're only fretting four strings. Third fret, third fret on the B and E, third fret on the low E, and then index finger second fret on the A. The other strings, the D and G, are going to be open strings. And you have your first chord, the G major chord. So you can practice strumming that and just really taking your time with the strum. When you take your time and play every single note, you're arpeggiating the chord and you're auditing your fingers to see if your technique is correct every time because then you can really hear which finger is the weakest link. Then you focus on that finger. That way, you just practice good technique. So that's a G major chord. So there's another easier chord. This requires a little bit of stretching. So let's take it up here to the seventh fret where it's a little bit easier. So whenever you're making a stretch like this, we're going to play the index finger, 7th fret on the low E, and then index finger, ninth fret on the A string. And we have a power chord. So you can use this for rock and roll, or so you can use this for rock and roll or punk music or pop music, all styles of music, and it's not major or minor. It's called a power chord, and you can move this shape all over the place. So this is the seventh fret. This is a B. That note is a B, so this is a B power chord. So you can practice this downstroke, just doing a downstroke with your pick. Down. Try and slide it up to the 5th fret and you're playing an A power chord. Notice how I keep my fingers the same exact distance away from each other, one fret in between. 5th fret on the low E, 5th fret on the A string. Now try and move it down to the 3rd fret. We're playing a G power chord. Neither major or minor, it's just pure a thick G chord for rock and roll. G major, G power chord, or if you see a chord chart, G5. So 
So see if you can go back and forth between a power chord and then this G major chord. And when you form this chord, try to do it lowest to highest. That way you get that bass note down. So go back and forth between power chord. Okay, now let's take the same shape to the A string. If we move our index finger to the third fret of the A, ring finger to fifth fret of the D, we're still playing the same shape. It's a power chord. So this is a C power chord. So try picking only these two strings, the A and the D. And when I'm picking, try to keep as little, try to use as little bit of the pick as possible and point it downwards at a 45 degree angle and pick like you're opening a door. And put it at a 45 degree angle and you're going to move it outwards. So I'm pointing it down behind the string. But not too much behind the string, just kind of above it and behind it so that you're making a little pendulum with your pick. So slide this shape up to the fifth fret on the A. We have a D power chord. Move it up two frets to the seventh fret and we're at an E power chord. So we have a bunch of really cool chords now that you can play around with and make rock and roll music. G, A, B, C, D, and E. So move through all of these shapes. Whenever you're making the stretch, if it's too hard for you, try to focus on what your thumb is doing. You want your thumb to be as far away. You want your thumb to be closer to the headstock whenever you make wide stretches to open up your hand. So if it's too hard, play around with the placement of your thumb to find something comfortable because everyone's hands are shaped differently. Everyone's guitar is slightly different, but it's all about making it work. There's people with small hands who can shred all over the guitar. And there's people with really chubby hands who can shred all over the guitar. So don't worry about the shape of your hand. It's all about putting in the work. So go through these chords, go back and forth between playing an open chord and a power chord. And if you guys like guitar tips and tricks like this, make sure to comment, follow, and subscribe.